As the new leader, Raila Odinga's bodyguard, Maurice Ogeta, has recounted his ordeal at the hands of police after three days of detention. Ogeta says during his detention, the officers wanted to know Raila's whereabouts and route plan for the protests. And TV's Vincent Oduo now reports. For the first time, Raila Odinga's bodyguard, Maurice Ogeta, has spoken about his ordeal in the hands of police officers who had arrested and detained him at an unknown location. Ogeta says the officers blindfolded him and took him to an empty room where he was detained for three days. The room where I was taken to mm -hmm. had nothing other than two beds. Mm -hmm. It's not a good environment to eat anyway. Mm -hmm. One thing that happens first is that you lose the appetite. Yeah. So food is not a priority at that given time. Yeah. I think I survived more on water mm -hmm. in the room. In the room, maybe there, why, why did you shower? No, I told you three days, Bilas. During his detention, Ogeta says for a record 20 times, the officers interrogated him over Odinga's whereabouts and his route plan for the anti-government protests. What was irritating more was uh, the repeated questions of what what was uh, what is uh, Raila's plan about this mandamano? Where is he going today? Where is he going to tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What is the itinerary? Mm -hmm. And uh, I said it like a hundred times mm -hmm. that I don't have an itinerary mm -hmm. because one, I di I don't even expect him to go mm -hmm. to to the mandamano mm -hmm. because the last time I was with him, he was not feeling well. Nobody wanted to hear that. And then the next thing is like, eh? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, ikifika hapo, hini kazi yangu ni security. Yeah. Ni kupeleka boss mali ameniambia naenda. Mm. Na kama ajaniambia, I can't say because me, I don't uh, do those programs. Raila Odinga's bodyguard was released early morning today after being dropped at Ruai in Nairobi. I, I had to ask the person mm -hmm. where that place is. Mm -hmm. So I was told I was in Ruai. Mm -hmm. That is where I was dropped. Mm -hmm. Up to now, even if you ask me, I don't know mm -hmm. which police station I was taken to. Ogeta is among several people associated with the former premier who were arrested this week in connection to Azimio's third wave of anti-government protests. Vincent Odur, NTV. Now CCTV footage has emerged showing an alleged DCI officer who tried to gain entry into the home of former president Uru Kenyatta's son in Karen and seize licensed firearms, giving verbal orders to the security personnel at the premises. In a secret recording obtained by NTV, the alleged officer is also heard giving orders to surrender firearms possessed by Uhuru's son. It is not clear, however, why the alleged DCI officer drove a vehicle with foreign number plates. NTV's Melito Letengesasmo.